Hanover Cliff. Call the ambulance. It's in Sydney, Australia. And to the scene rushes one of the city's cars equipped with the latest in cliff rescue gear designed by the superintendent of the ambulance service. It's made of telescopic tubular steel, a sort of crane so light that it can be quickly assembled, yet strong enough to lift a heavy weight. Actually, the gear will raise a tonne and a half, a hundred feet or more. It's the only rescue apparatus of the type in Australia, and many an injured rock fisherman will have cause to thank the ingenuity of the ambulance chief. An officer goes to the rescue. The stretcher is the kind that's used in the Australian Navy, made of bamboo, canvas and padding, an effective casing for all parts of the body. Looks risky, but the rope's strong, and so are the ambulance man's nerves. The injured man is stretched out on a ledge that would be difficult and dangerous to reach by rope, but it's the work of an instant for the plucky ambulance man to place him in the stretcher and bind him up. And haul away. Sometimes it can be a tug of war with death, but smoothly and surely the patient is swung upwards to the ambulance car. Imagine the job of carrying a man up a cliff face like this. So to the top, where the other brawny lads take him in tow and soon they'll have him whisked away to hospital. Now it's goodbye danger. In a few moments it'll be goodnight nurse.